Hello and welcome to the sixth video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own 3D Endless Runner game in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be importing the actual character to make it look a bit more like a game. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel and you'll find all the scripts and assets for this series there too, along with plenty of other things and you can also join as a free member. And now, on with the tutorial. So, how do we get a game character into this particular game? Well, I'm going to use a character that is within Timmy and Mousy, the game I linked in the very first tutorial. If you played it, you'll probably recognize him. And to get it, we need to use something called Mixamo. Mixamo is absolutely free. And if you head over to Mixamo.com and just sign up, it is absolutely free. There's no strings attached to it. And what we need to do is we need to select a character and select some animations. And there's a little trick that we have to do to kind of import it into Unity, but it's not too much of a problem, so don't worry about that at all. So firstly, once you're logged in and everything, find the character that you want. Now this will work for any character that you select. You could select this guy right here and click on use this character. I'm going to use a different character, but again, if you want to use this one, it's absolutely fine. Every character will function the exact same. So let's go and find Timmy, and here he is right here. So select him and use this character. Now what we need to do is we need to apply an animation. Animations are obviously quite vital in what we're trying to do here. So at the top, select animations. And we need to first get a running animation. So we can search for that right here by typing running, hitting return. And we should get them here. So I'm going to use this one here. That's a decent running animation. And the problem that we do have is if we were to export this now, it would literally move. And that's not what we want. We want to be able to control all movement within this character, apart from its generic animation. So what we need to do is tick in place. Now what that does is it will make Timmy run in place, and then we can control his movement forward as we've already done with our coding. Now to get this into Unity, there is a couple of things we have to do. Firstly, let's click on download. And the format, if we drop down, although you'll see a couple of different formats which seem relevant for us, what you need to do is set Pilada, with skin, 30, non, and download. Now the reason we're doing this is because we want the textures themselves to be separate and we want those textures to be something that we can use and modify if we want to. For example, if we wanted to use that texture, change the hue of it and re-import it, we can do that. So what this is doing is downloading a zip file with the Collada file as well as the textures that are separate. So what you'll need to do at this point is in a folder, you'll need to create a new one. And I'll call this Timmy. So in the Timmy folder, we then need to import this. So this textures folder, drag and drop into your Timmy folder, like so. Next, what we need to do is re-download a game. And instead of being Collada, I'm going to select FBX for Unity. We'll keep it with skin because we need the actual model. And the other two settings stay the same and click on download. Now, this will download a single file rather than a zip file. And this is the one that is actually going to be Timmy in our game. We obviously can change the animations as we go along, but don't worry too much about it. So this file that is downloaded, now drag and drop into your Timmy folder. And let's head back into Mixamo. And now what we need to do is find some more animations. What then animations do we need? Well. When Timmy hits something, he'll stumble backwards because he can't run any further. So let's look for stumble backwards. And you should be able to use this one right here. And there's the animation for Timmy. So now we need to download, but this time, make sure it is still set FBX for Unity, remove the skin. We don't, we've already got the textures and we've already got the main model. We only want the animation for this. So what we do is click download. 
And what that will do is it will apply that to Timmy, and then we can just drag and drop into the Timmy folder. Right there. And back into Mixamo, a couple more animations. You can use as many as you want, but there are a couple more that I do need um, for all of this. We need a jump animation as well. So let's type jump. And we need to find a good jump animation. So this one should do the trick. You see, it does jump backwards. That is a good technique for us to do something a little later on if things go astray. So make sure you do tick in place. And there we go, that's fine. So now we need to download without skin once again. And as soon as it's downloaded, bring that into the Timmy folder. And we'll get one more. We'll just get um, an idle animation, I think, just in case. So we'll have idle. And Let's look for a decent idle animation that we can use. What about that one? Breathing idle, that might do. Yep, that'll do. So download without skin, hit download, and then drag and drop that into the Timmy folder. And hopefully you know what's coming next. So if we bring that into Timmy, that Timmy folder now needs to come into Unity. So what we'll do is in our assets folder, let's right click, Create, Folder, Characters. We're going to have multiple characters in this, so we need to make sure that we have a separate folder for them. So now let's drag and drop Timmy into Unity. And it'll take a second just to import. If you have problems downloading any of this, though, I will put this directly uploaded onto um, the link that is in the description and the pinned comment, so you can go and download Timmy. Uh, it says a material is using texture as a normal map. This texture must be marked as a normal map in the settings. Um, I'm going to ignore for now because we need to double check that just in case. Uh, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference if I'm honest. So what do we have here? Well, we have the Timmy folder. And if we go into textures, you can see that they are indeed the textures that we can use for Timmy. And if we drag and drop this into our scene, that's breathing idle. We don't want that one. Make sure we select the right one. Uh, so that's breathing idle. That is jump. That's running. So let's drag and drop running into Unity. And there we go. We now have Timmy. And that looks great. So if we press play and look at Timmy himself, you'll see something's not quite right. As soon as Unity has compiled. So Timmy isn't really doing anything. He's just stood there. He's also not with our player. So how do we correct this? Well, here's what we'll do first of all. Let's put Timmy inside our player. So drag and drop Timmy onto player. And let's actually rename him at this point and say Timmy. Let's also now zero out the position of Timmy to be inside the capsule. So zero, zero, zero. And we could probably just adjust him a little bit more so he kind of sits on the ground. But in order to see that correctly, let's go on Timmy and let's untick Mesh Renderer. So now only Timmy will show. So now let's drag him down to the floor and just make sure that he is all encompassed by the Mesh Renderer. That should do. Even if his head sticks out a little bit, I wouldn't worry too much about that. He is now inside there. So going further into Timmy, you'll see there are a couple of different objects that we can use here. Now, this is where animations come into play. Firstly, we need to actually select an animation to use. You can see here that it is part of that FBX, but we need to extract it and apply it to Timmy directly. To do that, make sure you click the arrow so everything is expanded. Hold Control and press D. And what that will do is it will extract the running animation out of the FBX and we can customize it. We need to make sure we tick loop time up here. And what that means is that the animation will constantly run. And here, if we go on CH09, this is the main Timmy object. So this is the container for it with a couple of different options, but it is CH09, which is the main character of Timmy. And what we need to do is drag and drop the running animation onto there. And if we press play, 
we should be able to at least see Timmy moving, but he's not playing his animation correctly. So we need to modify that so he can play his animation. Look, you can move him side to side. It doesn't look great without his animation, but it's something that we can work with. So what can we do with Timmy? Well, by default, it has come to the animator component. So let's click add component and click animation. And what we could do is let's drag and drop the running animation right there. Uh, it is legacy, but for now, we just want to make sure that we do have him running. It's something that we will absolutely modify. We just want to get to a point where we can make Timmy look somewhat useful. So press play and let's get in the game. And he's still not doing it. Why are you not running, Timmy? What's going on, mate? Why are you not running? So what is the problem with Timmy right now? Uh, to be honest, we could, yeah, we've got that on there. He's running. Actually, do you know what? We should probably put the running animation on the main level up there rather than CH09. That should probably do the trick. Now I think about it, it, the animation probably does need to go on the top level rather than the model of Timmy. So yeah, let's drag and drop the running animation onto the main model of Timmy, which is the CH09 non-pair running one. Uh, and let's actually remove the animation and the animator. So a little information about the animation component. That essentially used to be the old way of doing animations, um, but you know, the, the animator became the standard, but the animation is still useful for quick and simple ways of establishing things. So now we have dragged and dropped our running animation onto the main model of Timmy. We should be able to press play and make sure that it actually runs. And he should do now. There we go. There is Timmy running. And he's looping as well. Excellent. So at this point, you can see things look a little bit distorted in the game view. Make sure your scale up here is set to 1. If it can't go down as low as 1, select free aspect and untick low resolution aspect ratios. And there we go. Timmy is now in our game. We've established that we put the animation on the wrong object, but that's fine. We can. It was an opportunity to learn a little bit about the animation component rather than the animator. But make sure the running is on there. And like I say, if you have problems with this asset, I will leave a link in the description and pinned comment for you to go over there and download Timmy yourself. So next tutorial, we're going to cover some environment design and where to get some assets to import to actually make this look more like a game. So remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial in this series. And I'll see you next time.